Greetings Earthlings, in this video I am going to be teaching you how to clean the torn and volume parts of your guitar. For this video I am going to be using my beautiful Let's Pour and you might be thinking well how do I know if I need to clean up my guitar parts? Well truthfully it's something that you should do routinely so perhaps every time you clean your strings just be safe but also if you start to hear crackling whenever you turn your volume and tone controls up or down then it could be time to give them a clean. Okay guys, so for this job you are going to need a cleaner of some sort, of the electrical kind, a screwdriver, mine is a crosshead because that's what my guitar requires, yours might require a flathead screwdriver, and something to get up the excess should you have any, now you can use a cloth, I'm just using blue roll though. So the first thing that I like to do is to put something on the table to protect the guitar. Now normally I use a towel but today I'm using this beautiful pink and black fur rug so what we do is we flip the guitar over so it's face down on the table and what we have is two back plates now this one is for your pots and this one is for your selector switch so today we are going to be taking this one off Once we've removed the back plate from the guitar, we have the guitar pots exposed. Now it is important to note that some back plates have metal shielding on. Now this guitar doesn't, however I do have a back plate from another guitar and this is the metal shielding that you may come across. Now this is supposed to be here so don't try to peel it off, leave it on. And the other type of shielding that you might come across, especially on vintage Les Pauls, is that they often have shielding inside the cavity. If that is the case, then simply undo the screws that are holding it in and take it out. On this guitar, we have two tone pots and two volume pots. Now, this guitar in particular is coil tapped on its volume pots, so they do look a little different compared to the tone pots. However, they are cleaned in exactly the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cleaner and we're going to find the window of the pot. Now, even though they look different, they both have a window. So there will be a photo on this video showing exactly where that window is. Now what we do is we take our cleaner, we place it into the window and we just give, you can give one or two pumps if you want. So I'm going to give mine one because mine aren't really that dirty. Now, once you have actually sprayed in the cleaner, it is time to lift the guitar up. And you want to twist your volume and tone controls back and forth because that really helps the cleaner get in there and work its magic. Now, when you do this job, you will find that sometimes the cleaner is in the rest of the cavity even if you try to do this extremely accurately. Now this is what the cloth or the blue roll is for, is to basically pick up any of the excess. When you clean the pots it is time to put the back plate back in place. So that wraps up how to clean your guitar's tone and volume pots. I do have a book available that teaches you how to do a full guitar setup. So if you would like a copy, then the link is in the description. And subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. So for now, see you guys later.